everyone, this is MJ. I'm so excited you've joined me for my countdown to Christmas featuring MJ's Merry Minis. I've designed 25 Christmas ornaments and each one will release from December 1st through to December 25th. And you'll be able to find the pattern for free on my blog on the ornaments release day. Now I'm hosting a crochet along over in my Facebook community group and the link will be in the description box if you want to join in and post your pictures. I'm so excited that you're here today and enjoy the ornament I have featured for today's video. If you'd rather not wait for all 25 ornaments to release, I've decided to put together a beautifully designed ebook featuring all 25 crochet ornaments. You can purchase the ebook through the link in my description box. Hey, this is MJ and in today's tutorial, I'm gonna be showing you how to make this cute little mosaic hat. It's a little ornament for your Christmas tree or a present topper. It's really quick and easy to make and it has this beautiful little mosaic design. So what you're gonna need is some worsted weight yarn. I'm using Wool of the Andes worsted weight and I'll be using brass, heather, and white. You'll also need a four millimeter crochet hook, which is a G size, and I'm using a Furls Streamline hook. You need a little mini pom-pom maker for your pom-pom or just make one up without one, that's fine too, really whatever you prefer. Your yarn needle and just a hook for an ornament hook for hanging on your tree. This little hat is worked from the bottom up. So we're gonna begin with the band. We'll make a slip knot and put that on the hook. And I'm gonna chain out seven. Now we'll work a single crochet in the second chain from the hook and in every chain across. Chain one and turn. Now the band will be worked in the back loops only, so we'll be going through the back loop of the stitch, working a single crochet. And we'll do this for the entire band. So this is now row two, and you're gonna make a total of 18 rows. Okay, so again, row three, we're working the same way. Start with a chain one, and then just work one single crochet in the back loop of every stitch across. So I'm gonna complete my 18 rows and I'll meet you up. Okay, so I've worked my 18 rows. Now you can count by looking at your ridges. Every ridge here is two. So two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. And now we can chain one. Fold it together and you'll work through the back loop and then over to your starting chain first stitch. So going through the back loop and going over to the other side. So we're working across six slip stitches. Now we'll chain one. We can leave that to the outside is fine because we'll be flipping this band up. And now what we'll do is work one single crochet per row all the way around. And I just like to crochet over my tail as I go. Okay, so I've worked around 18 stitches. 
Now we're gonna slip stitch in the back loop only. Pull that tail nice and tight, and we're gonna bring in the brass heather. We'll be dropping and picking up the yarn as we go, so we wanna leave the white right where it is. Don't cut it or anything. Pull through. Give your tail a tug just to tighten it. That'll make the join look a lot better. Now we'll chain one and we're gonna work in the back loop only. Now you can crochet over this tail, the brass color tail. Color B, we're working in the back loop, a single crochet all the way around. Okay, so now we're gonna slip stitch. Don't confuse the join as a stitch. I'm gonna pull that tail tight. You can see that it just cinched in. We're gonna slip stitch in the back loop and we're gonna drop off B. We're gonna pick up A, pull it through, give those tails a tug. And now let's take a look at our mosaic chart. Okay, so if you've never done mosaic crochet before and this is brand new, I'm gonna explain how our chart works. So what you're paying attention to is whether we have an X or a blank box. Just ignore the pattern and focus on that. So each round, we've already worked the first round A and the next round B. So we've worked all of these in the back loop only. The first round didn't really matter. I single crocheted around, that's okay because row three works down in to row one, which will be this front loop that we've left because we worked the second row in the back loop, okay? So the first row can just be worked single crochet normally, but then the second row is all worked single crochet in the back loop only. So we've done that, now we're on to round three. So round three is back to color A. Then we're back to color B, A, B, A, B, etc. So we're just alternating colors. We do not change color throughout a round. What we will do to get this pattern created is do drop down double crochets. So whenever you see an X, we'll do a drop down double crochet. So we drop down and we work in that front loop of two rows below. The pattern repeats itself across, so it's really easy to memorize. We're doing two in the back loop, then a drop down, two single crochet in the back loop, a drop down, and that will just repeat itself. And you'll see as you go through that there'll be a pattern that's really easy and quick to memorize. So now for round three, we're gonna do two stitches in the back loop. So let's chain one. We're working into that very first stitch. So back loop back loop and then the next stitch is going to be a drop down. So here's the next stitch. We go down two rows below. We work a double crochet working down through that loop. Yarn over, pull up a loop, pull through two, pull through two. Then we work two in the back loop. One, two, and then in the next, a drop down again. And we're just repeating now this pattern all the way around. We're ending with a drop down. Okay, so I've ended here with my drop down. We'll slip stitch in the back loop only to join. And on that slip stitch, we are grabbing color B. Make sure you pull all the tails nice and tight because that will keep that join really invisible. We'll chain one to secure it all. And then I'll take a look at round four. So round four starts with a drop down. We do three in the back loop, three single crochet in the black back loop. And then we have this drop down, single drop down, and then three, and then the single drop down single. So let's get this one going. Now this chart is on the blog for free so you can go and follow along. Okay, and then we'll do 
three in the back loop. Okay, and then these drop downs are gonna be going around this drop down. It's always good when you're working mosaic to kind of look, it's easy if you just get off one stitch to mess up the pattern. So you really wanna just take a look at the chart and see where you're gonna be putting those stitches. So I'll be doing a drop down, single crochet in the back loop, and then a drop down. Okay, and then I have three in the back loop. And then this pattern is just repetitive all the way around. We're doing these drop downs around that white drop down. So the single crochet in the back loops going the top of that drop down, whoops. One, two, three. And I've worked myself all the way around. One in the back loop. And then make sure to slip stitch in the back loop. Now we're dropping off B, picking A back up. Pull the tails tight and chain one to secure everything. And now we're looking at round five, which we have a single crochet in the back loop. Then we do a drop down, back loop drop down, and then three, and then that pattern repeats. So a single crochet in the back loop. Then we're gonna have, see these like three little loops? We're gonna have a drop down, single crochet in the back loop, and then a drop down. So this little shape's gonna start forming. And then we do three in the back loop. One, two, three. Come to the next three loops that are available. Drop down, back loop, drop down. So just work that around. Okay, so we're ending with two in the back loop. We're gonna slip stitch in the back loop to join. Picking up color B, pull the tails tight and chain one. So now we're on to round six and round six will work two in the back loop and then a drop down and that's repeated all the way around. So two in the back loop and then a drop down, two in the back loop and a drop down. So repeat that all the way around. And I've ended this round with a drop down. We're gonna slip stitch in the back loop only, changing back to A. Chain one. And for round seven, we're gonna begin with a drop down. Find that little loop, it's a little hard to see. And then we have three in the back loop. One, two, three, and then we're doing drop downs around this drop down here. So drop down, back loop, and drop down. And then we'll work three in the back loop. And so we're just repeating that pattern now all the way around. So we do drop down, single crochet back loop, drop down. And I've ended this one off with a single crochet in the back loop. We are going to change over again, slip stitch in the back loop only. We're working a total of 12 rounds, so just bear with me. OK, 
Okay, so we're now on to round eight and we'll do single crochet in the back loop. We'll have a drop down, single drop down, and then three, and then that pattern repeats. So back loop only. Then we have a drop down. single crochet in the back loop and a drop down then one two three and the pattern repeats okay I've already got my slip stitch and chain one done nine is now two in the back loop and then a drop down and that pattern just repeats itself all the way around. Two in the back loop and a drop down. Okay, so I've slip stitched, chained one and then for round 10, we'll do a drop down or a single crochet in the back loop and then we're doing a drop down single crochet in the back loop drop down and then three drop down single crochet back loop drop down and repeat that around Okay, and round 11, we're going to start with a drop down. It's kind of hidden in there. We'll work three in the back loop. And then a drop down back loop. And drop down and we're just repeating this pattern around okay so round 11 is ending with your single crochet in the back loop we're gonna slip stitch to join changing back to color B And round 12, we're going to work two in the back loop and then a drop down. And that is the repeat around. So two in the back loop. And then a drop down. Two in the back loop and then a drop down. Okay, so repeat that all the way around. What we're gonna do once you've worked all the way around, let's fasten everything off. We're gonna slip stitch. Pull that through and now all we're gonna do is weave through the front loops going to get the top of this hat pulled so just work through the front loops and we're just going to weave it through and that's going to help just keep the top of it the hat closed and back in the opposite direction. Okay, so you just wanna weave in all of your tails. Here's how cute it's looking. So the next thing you wanna do is make a little pom-pom. I've made a few of these in some of the videos. 
already. So I'm just going to pop up one of the, the tutorials that I've already shown. That I've already filmed in another video, but what you're going to do is just make your pom-pom and then attach it to the top of your hat. Okay, so I finished weaving in my ends. I'm just going to set that aside and we'll make the little pom-pom for the top. So this is a little mini pom-pom maker and I'll have a link in the description box on where you can purchase these. And all we're going to do is wrap the yarn around the two pieces of the arm. What I like to do is we don't need this pom-pom too big or thick because it's just for the top of a little hat, but I do like to make sure that I have all the black covered up. Okay, and then once that's done, you can just give it a trim, put it in, and then just do the same thing for the other arm. Close that together. Okay, so now what we're going to do is take a piece of yarn. And you're gonna put it through the groove of the pom-pom maker. What I like about the pom-pom makers is that you don't have to do very much trimming and the pom-pom comes out pretty much perfect every time. The trimming can be so messy that that's the part I dislike. I'm just knotting it on the other side as well. Okay, and then we can just pull it apart. There's just going to be a couple stragglers. But other than that, you have your perfect shape. So there's just the few little pieces that need trimmed. And it's a perfect little pom-pom. Okay, so I went with the brass heather for this pom-pom. You can make it white or really any color you want. It's really just about picking the colors that you want for your home, whatever colors you're using for your Christmas decor. So what we're gonna do now is just Thread your yarn tails down inside the hat. And you can just knot this up. I just have a tail still to weave here. Might as well just weave that and get it out of the way while I have my hat inside out. You don't need any real big weaving jobs when it's just an ornament. that 
out. And there we go. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and tap that bell so you stay updated on new videos and tutorials. Have an awesome day. Thank you.